Hey, hey Libra, intuitive soul coach here with your April 2023 bonus reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. These are general readings, Libra, so please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. How are you doing, Libra? Are you feeling the effects of this Aries energy? Because it is intense. We have the Aries solar eclipse and new moon on the 20th of April, followed by Mercury going retrograde. We have the full moon in your sign around the 6th of April. We also have the luckiest day of the year, also known as the Day of Miracles in astrology on April 11th. So we have a lot going on this month. One minute you may be feeling happy and bubbly. The next minute you may be really heated in a conversation. You may be feeling the duality going on, Libra, because Aries is your opposing sign. It's on the opposite sign of the wheel followed by this full moon is bringing in and ushering in this intensity and you are absolutely feeling it. Now, Aries is all about taking bold risks, stepping outside of your comfort zone, and that may at times, Libra, feel a little bit of discomfort or uncomfortable because you like to keep the peace. You like to keep that balance. And this month may feel at times anything but balance because on one side of the spectrum, this is going on. And then over here, this is going on. Even today, as I'm shuffling your reading outside, the wind is churning. One minute it's snowing, then it's sleeting, and then it's sunny, and then it looks like it's about to thunderstorm with lightning. So you're feeling these effects going on in the world because of, again, the solar flares and the eclipse. And we have a few things that are showing up in the, the global energy where things are coming out into the open. Some of you may be feeling restless. You may be dreaming more intensely. For others of you, you may feel a very strong gravitational pull to make a very big change in your world, Libra. So let's see what we have here for you, and then we'll dive in and pull some tarot cards to clarify the energy showing up as well. So right away here, you do have... Oh, wow. Okay, you have double cancer and you have Aries showing up right away for you. And it says, cool your emotions. So some of you may feel at times throughout the month very heated or very intense. And I feel that for a lot of you Libras, this intensity is coming from a place of more so of, it could be passion. You may feel passionate towards something or someone, and you may be speaking up for a cause because typically Libras want to keep the peace, want to keep that those scales balanced, but you will speak up for something that is close to your heart. I'm getting seven of wands energy here about you standing up for yourself, standing up for maybe a family member, this is standing up for your beliefs and living life on your own terms, non-conforming. Now, don't beat yourself up, Libra, if your emotions seem to feel a little bit irregular in the month of April. Over here on one hand, you may feel you know, calm, cool, and collected, and then the next minute there's a heated dynamic between you and a coworker or you and a family member. You're going to strike a balance and really utilize that full moon energy on the 6th of April to to forgive, to mend, to heal, and to come together, especially if there was a situation or you are currently dealing with a situation that is creating a little bit of imbalance in your life. This could be someone else's energy coming towards you as well where someone else is feeling a little bit heated within uh, your dynamic. They may not love the decisions that you're making or they may not agree with what it is that you want to do or a decision or a choice. And I feel that you are standing up for what you believe 
is possible in your world and you're not letting anyone interfere with that. That's a really bold move to make. It really is, especially when sometimes you may shy back because you don't want to necessarily stir the pot or stir the drama. Now, we're going to see a lot of ups and downs in April as you've already started to see them, especially in March. Now, going into April, you're going to see them in a collective and a global and within your own personal world. But a lot of you have been waking up to your soul's truth. You've undergone maybe even a very, very big spiritual awakening, Libra, and this may take you by surprise if this is someone else's energy or even yours at times, but don't, don't beat yourself up. Don't stay in that energy too long. There could be something that surprises you or just shakes you up a little bit, jars you is what I'm getting. It may be around that solar eclipse, but make that time in your schedule to take a little bit of a breather. Take a step back whether it is instead of getting directly into maybe conflict or an argument, allow yourself to step back, reevaluate, see where maybe this person is coming from or see how you would like to respond versus just immediate reaction. Okay, and that's kind of what I'm feeling here for you because Aries can stir that piece of you up, Libra, where it does feel like there's a little bit of impulsivity here and it does step you outside your comfort zone. Take a breather, catch your breath. If you're lucky enough to maybe take a vacation, take a weekend, take a few days off or even a mental health day to focus on spiritual, physical, emotional, and mental health just to get your footing back in ground here because there will be a few instances in the month of April that may kind of pull you for a loop or have you reevaluating, reassessing, or reorganizing your mental space, your physical space. Some of you have very big bursts of energy, spontaneity. You may get a wild hair, you know, coming in where you decide to clean the garage or you decide to reorganize a closet that you haven't touched for years. Or you may say to yourself, I want to purge and get rid of all these old clothes. So I'm getting a little bit of that nesting type energy where there could be a spring cleaning in the air or you're just ready to be done with the old, Libra. Out with the old, in with the new. You have this Cancerian energy again here regarding pushing through some insecurities. This is water element here. So there could be some deep emotions that get heated for you in the month of April, or maybe you're working through a challenging situation where your heart felt a little bit wounded due to an argument or due to a conflict or distraction or some sort of pain or trauma that you have endured. This is about you being able to see the trigger, see the pain, see the trauma, love yourself through it. It. Know that life is happening for you, not to you, and push through those insecurities, Libra, because you matter and you are absolutely lovable. What else do we have here for Libra? Oh my gosh, as I said, you are lovable. It says here, you, Libra in energy, know you are loved. I love this for you, Libra, because you are absolutely loved. And I feel like a lot of you are possibly in, whether it is your professional world or your personal world, but a lot of you professionally are heading towards or are in a career or profession that brings you emotional fulfillment. Whatever it is that you do, it's coming from, from a place of creativity and empowerment. I'm getting this sense of self-confidence meets inspiration. So self-confidence meets inspiration. So you may be changing courses. Uh, you may be deciding to go a new path that feels more aligned with your heart's desire. In relationships, this is a really powerful time for you to make some necessary changes. This is a time for you to go inward and say, what does my heart really want? I mean, really want for me, not something that someone thinks I should do, thinks I should feel, or thinks I should act upon because they think they know what's best for me when really I know what's best for me. So know that you are loved. I feel like a lot of you Librans are also connecting, collaborating with your soul tribe. Now your soul tribe doesn't always have to be blood related. This can be new friendships coming in. It could be new partnerships, new romance. It can be pets and animals. 
It can be people that last a re, you know, a season or a lifetime. And I do feel like there are new members from your soul tribe showing up for you in the month of April. And I'm also sensing some of you feel inspired by someone you've never met as well, Libra. So this could be maybe a writer, an author, could be an influencer, or it could be a book that you read and you think, wow, this book is really inspirational. Or you may watch a movie uh, or a documentary, something of that nature. And I'm just getting here this this powerful energy of inspiration and it may move you that much to take action in an area of your life so this is really good i mean it can be someone that you've met as well uh, it could be a, a professional it could be again an influencer it could be someone in your own life but i'm getting here inspiration now you have this Taurian energy of releasing control. This has been showing up a lot and it doesn't surprise me because as we navigate through these changes on a global collective level, as we sometimes have these, these fears come in, what next? How is this going to go? Uh, are we being controlled, right? There's the sense of us needing to control our situation because then it helps us feel like we have... We have a little bit of say over a situation and I'm just getting here with a lot of signs this card has come up. I'm getting that there's more resistance showing up in the month of April, but the biggest thing that we can do when we come up against resistance is release that need to control every single step of the way, right? And this can be way difficult to do and it's going with the flow versus uh, you know, control. And I did do a collective video for all signs. I'll link it in the description box below along with my other collective readings as well. So if you struggle with control, you may want to check that out. But you being able to control what you can within your own energy, but there will be things externally that happen in the month of April where you're just going to have to take a step back, release the need to know how something is going to work out or control or follow the masses or follow that fear-based energy at times of panic, of anxiety, of worry, of what's next and step back from it, see the bigger picture and give you the time and space to assess the situation instead of react. And that's what I'm getting here for a lot of you Librans. There could be some volatile energy that shows up that you immediately, your first response may be to react. But if you have the awareness necessary, and that's the power and the beauty of tarot and, uh, you know, watching these readings is to give you a little bit of insight into, you know, what's coming so you can prepare yourself within your control, right? Prepare you for some of the challenges and allow you to assess and become aware of the things that are within your control. And then externally, the things that it's important to embrace the change, but stay in that higher vibration, that higher frequency. Now, and this could also mean I'm getting an important conversation is what I've just heard. And they're also giving me a name right away. So these two could be tied together. You may have an important conversation with someone named Veronica, or that could be your name as well. Or it may be the author of you know a book that you've read or a speaker. Please take that as it resonates. What else do we have here? Oh my goodness. See, in this final pile, you have a lot of delicious, good, juicy stuff here. But we have, you know, starting the month, you have pushing through those insecurities, taking a breather, cooling the emotions. Some of you may have felt, uh, you know, on either end, hot-headed or just super emotional, right? A little bit of finding that balance. And I do feel by that full moon in Libra, you'll start to feel a little bit more balance. And then you're going to have those bursts of energy throughout mid-month. You'll be able to assess, release control, and know you are loved. And then during Mercury going retrograde, it can be a really great time to, again, reassess. Use all of the REs, as I like to say. Reevaluate, revamp, reorganize, rejuvenate. Step back from a scenario and ask yourself, is this the path that you are aligned with? Are you heading in the direction that your soul wants? You have this Capricorn energy of stepping up and taking the lead, Libra. And sometimes you may just go with the flow to create that balance. But this is about you stepping into your power as well. And of course, going with the flow is a beautiful thing. 
But sometimes we stop and we say, can this be so good for us? Can we really be, you know, this happy or manifest this? And then we start to second guess. And then that's where that control piece comes in for you, Libra. There may be an opportunity for you to have a very important conversation with a loved one, with an employee, a client, with a family member, a child. This is about you doing the hard things, having the difficult conversation, stepping up and taking your health into your own hands. This is about making decisions that are beneficial to you on all levels. So that's what I'm getting here when it comes to stepping up and taking the lead. You have this Sagittarian energy that says focus on the positive. There's going to be a lot of great things that show up for you in the month of April. It could even be one of your best months, Libra, as far as gaining the clarity needed, motivation, and course correction, which has been showing up for a lot of signs. When I've connected, when I tune in, and I asked Spirit, what's the underlying or the common denominator between all of the signs? What do we need to know? I kept hearing here, course correction. So if you do listen to maybe your rising or your moon or any other sign, you may hear that common theme of course correction because if you felt like things have been a little bit shaky or you've lost maybe a job, there's been difficulties in a relationship, your health has been lacking, I feel like this is the month for you to make that course correction to put yourself back Back on track because remember Aries is your opposite it can help you see situations that maybe at times are difficult to see or situations that may at times have be difficult for you to step up and take the lead on and that's what this month is all about focus on the positive focus on that law of attraction when it comes to manifesting what it is you want and have that energy and mindset of gratitude and your final card here is practice gratitude, double Sagittarian energy. Now, some of you may be dealing with a Sagittarius. There could be forgiveness and healing and mending with the Sagittarius as well, I'm getting. But practice gratitude because you're going to feel that things are shifting in your world and you're finally on that path of not just discovery, because a lot of you have already been on that path of discovery, but you're going to see how lovable you are and how loved you are, uh, how other people love you, but also you are staying in this frequency and energy of keeping your heart open. So you are lovable, as it says here, but I feel like other people are telling you how much you mean to them or how much you matter in the month of April. And it's going to leave your heart feeling fulfilled. It's going to leave you feeling like a sense of gratitude here. So I'm really loving this. Let's dive in and get a little bit of clarification. Let's take a look at this first pile here with cool your emotions. What is the cool your emotions all about? Some of you may be heated because of your own insecurities and it, you may have to step back and take a breather and say, is this a trigger or, uh, you know, why is this showing up for me? How can I revisit the situation? This could have even been a, a conflict or an argument or something that you'd struggled with in the past that got a little bit heated and now you're able to see things clear, push through those insecurities and revisit after you've taken a breather. So let's take a look and clarify. Yeah, there it is. Strengthening bonds. You have a new beginning here. A new beginning to set something right is what I'm getting, Libra. It could be regarding your stability. It could be a relationship where you're strengthening those bonds. This represents the Ace of Pentacles. This is about a new beginning in the material world or the earthly realm when it comes to your health, your body, your material gains, your finances, again, your home or a job or a career, something here in the physical. You have an opportunity to make a right and you're pushing through insecurities that may have held you back in the past. And you have the Nine of Cups, so manifesting your dreams. And that's what I was feeling for you, where you're taking and getting a step closer. And I feel like you're closer than you realize when it comes to you manifesting a goal that you've had, hitting a milestone, coming together in a relationship. Or this could be creating more balance in an area that's felt a little bit off kilter for a while. The Nine of Cups is about feeling content and good with life, with where you are at. It's emotional fulfillment. It's freedom. 
It is success. It's achievement. It's completion. And after a time of maybe not believing something would happen, you better believe it, Libra, because you create your own luck here and you create and manifest your dreams. And that's what you are doing. So I'm really liking this for you. But you had to go through something that may have been a little bit heated or something difficult, but you can do hard things. As uh, one of my favorites, I forget, oh gosh, what does she write? She wrote the book, Carry On Warrior, Love Warrior. I forget her name. It's going to come to me. She's a, a brilliant author. She, Glennon Doyle. Glennon Doyle. She wrote Untamed as well. If you haven't read her earlier books, Carry On Warrior and Love Warrior, those are really good books if you like to read. All right, let's take a look and see what else is coming in here for you and take a look at what we're clarifying. So know you are loved. You have this showing up, which makes complete sense because there is the six of wands and this can be about public recognition. It can be about achievement, even fame. For some of you, it's about accomplishment. It's about victory. It is about no longer being overlooked because people look up to you. And that's what I feel here, Libra, where whatever it is that you are doing, saying, healing others, whether it's in your professional or personal life, you're on the right path and you are uplifting the frequency of the planet. So believe that you will succeed and it shall be here because you're definitely heading towards a higher vibrational frequency. Frequency. And for those of you that felt like you were on a course that just wasn't aligned with your soul, course correction coming in here and you can no longer ignore it. Because the four of pentacles says it's time to open up. It's time to get rid of that scarcity or poverty conscious mindset. Some of you may have a fear around resources, right? This could be about managing those resources. Yes, there's a lot going on in the collective regarding digital currencies and, uh, you know, banking systems and all of that. There's a collapse. There's things happening in the external world. And we at times may get sucked into that fear vortex. This is your opportunity to break free from that, to open yourself up to a new paradigm shift and to see things in a different light, a different perspective. Build a new sense of stability for not just yourself, but the world around you. When the Four of Pentacles shows up, this is about you no longer withholding maybe even some sort of news, a message, or your heart. No longer holding your heart back, Libra, to create the balance. And yes, you may open yourself up and you may share what's on your heart, what's on your mind, but ultimately that is going to lead to more success. It's going to lead to be you being able to spread your wings with the two of wands. And that's what this energy is all about, allowing you to assess the situation, release control, okay? That's what this is all about, opening up, because some of you feel the need to control, whether it's finances, whether it's controlling, uh, you know, the people around you, what are you doing? How are you doing it? Uh, what's going on here? You need to kind of have that, that sense of... Uh, that sense of being able to manage what's going on around you. And a lot of times, now I'm not calling you out on this Libra, this could be you or someone around you may have a deep need to control. And that can come from childhood wounding of a lot of chaos. When you grow up in a very chaotic environment, whether it's addictions, it could be domestic violence, it can be anything. When you feel like things are at any time going to come in and create catastrophic events or destruction, it can manifest as an adult as extreme control because we don't know when something is going to, you know, fall on us once again, right? So some of you are working through some childhood wounding, some shadow work, some triggers, but I'm getting here that you're opening up to a greater level, a greater frequency, a greater vibration of love Libra than you ever have here on planet earth before. So this is really powerful. And ooh, as I said that I just got full body goosebumps. So you're definitely opening up here and this is going to allow you to spread your wings because you have here assess the situation. Two of wands is about planning. It is about assessing. It's about what does your future look like? Can you make decisions in business, in career, in your passion, projects, uh, your goals? What does that vision look like 
to you. Open yourself up to what that could look like because some of you, you forgot that you have a beautiful third eye for a reason, right? Uh, some of you forgot that you can tap into the unlimited supply and abundance that is your birthright. There's an opening happening for you in the month of April and I feel like you are absolutely going to love this. Believe and succeed. Let's take a look and see what else we have here. What else are we going to clarify? We have step up and lead, focus on positive, and practice gratitude. So a lot of really beautiful things coming in here for you. Let's take a look at the overall energy for this last pile. Thank you. Okay, so, <laughs> this is very, very specific. Some of you may have recently or you need to give your, your pet a bath because they're showing me, uh, at first I seen... A dog, it could be a dog, um, but I feel pet was the word coming in. Uh, but some of you may need to give your pet a bath. I mean, it could be any kind of animal. It could be a tortoise. It could be, uh, you know, a, a iguana. It could be a dog. But some sort of animal around you, it may be wanting to to stay hydrated and animals are feeling this energy as well, especially with the tides and the solar flares and eclipses and the moon cycle. So make sure that your pets stay hydrated and that can be even through getting a bath. So again, please take that as it resonates. Now, what do we have here? We have the nine of wands, the four of cups. So I like that this is showing up even though, uh, you know, these can be cards that are all about rest and reconsider because that's what Mercury retrograde brings in, a time to rest and reconsider. This is the card of the wounded warrior. You've been through stuff as we all have, Libra. This is about you staying determined, having that spiritual strength to not give up because you're so close. You were so close you can almost taste this new opportunity, something in the past that you may have felt like you've missed, right? The four of cups can be something that you felt frustrated that it wasn't happening, a little bit bored, a little bit impatient, or maybe you felt like you lacked the inspiration to move forward. Trust me, that was a heavy energy and a lot of you are still feeling that, but this Aries ushering in this bold movement, we'll call it a bold movement, a bold energy, where this is the month for you to open up to these new opportunities. And I feel like they may come rushing in for you. So there's an opportunity calling and it's important to stay in that mindset of positivity, gratitude, and step up and lead. Say yes to this opportunity. Because sometimes Libra, we can get so caught up on, you know, being in that cycle while well, I put a million resumes out there or I've been really trying hard to master my craft or I've been trying to call in love. And then we feel we get discouraged and it can take a knock to our self-confidence, our solar plexus. And then before we know it, subconsciously, we start to create a limiting belief that maybe our wishes aren't going to happen. Stay determined, Libra, because you have this warrior spirit within you and whoo. For those of you that don't realize you do, then it's time to really connect because you have this warrior spirit within that says there is a course correction and this is the time for you to take it. Uh, for others of you, if you are already aligned with your soul's purpose, with, with many of you already are on that path, even if you've detoured off, that's okay. You're still on that path. You've just chose a different way to get there. But I feel like there's an easier way moving forward. And that's what I mean by course correction. Simplicity, choosing something that may feel a little more, a little easier, a little lighter than some challenges or difficulties that you've been through. Brand new opportunities here to, to I almost said survive and strive. But uh, I mean, for some of you, it may be a survival type of energy. But I feel that this is about you being able to step up and lead, which is what we have here. So release control. Uh, and the, the sooner that you release some sort of control of what something should look like, as soon as you release it, you're going to see a new opportunity calling out your name. All right, Libra, that is what I have for your April 2023 bonus reading. I hope this resonates, beautiful souls. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It certainly does help get the divine channel messages out there to those that need it most. Feel free to hit that like, share, comment, and hit that subscribe and bell button if you haven't already. Thank you so much for tuning in, Libra. Lots of love.